So this is the data for the diode where we adjusted the voltage across it and looked at how the current varied. We can see when we've got negative values of V, we have zero current. And actually we have quite a lot of values which are quite close together. So when it comes to plotting this, we're going to have current on the y-axis, voltage on the x-axis, and uh, we can then start to plot the data. And this part of the graph here is where it gets really interesting. Now, I've actually chosen to use these values because in terms of the data, this is where it gets interesting. All of this stuff here is just zero. And to make sure that we can actually see what happens, I've chosen uh, values for the voltage going from zero to one over here. And obviously we can have negative values if needed. So uh, basically, let's start at zero. Uh, when you have zero voltage, we have zero current. When we've got negative values of voltage over here, we'd also have zero current as well. So effectively, the line is going to be going along this part of the graph. When we get to a value of 0 0.57 volts, so that's going to be over here, so that's 0 0.5, this is 0 0.57 here, uh, we also have a value of 0. When we go to 7.5, which is here, we've got a value of 0 0.04, and then it starts to rise rapidly. And this final point here was when it actually overheated. So what I'm going to do is put in my line of best fit. It's going to be a curved line of best fit. And basically it's going to be zero all the way back over here. So this is now the IV characteristic for a diode. Basically we have this steep rise over here. And we can see how that is different to maybe if you have a resistor where we've got this straight line or even a lamp which has this S-shaped curve. This one here is a characteristic shape of a diode.